Welcome to Junk Journal Snacks. I think we need to make this chubby baby a little more chubby, huh? What do you say? <laughs> so, for anyone that does not know, this is Nadja's journal. As always, I will have Nadja's Instagram linked below. What a sight, huh? <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I was done with this and whether I was just going to be doing some writing on the rest of the pages. But I think I want to add another page just because. <laughs> and the page I have chosen to work on is this little one right here. I'm going to take my roll of saran wrap and put it here where the spine is to make this a little bit more manageable. <laughs> Let's add these to hold it down. So what I wanted to do is to use some of my eco prints from the very, very grungy set. These are the originals and for what I have in mind, I don't think they're going to work. But thankfully I have digital copies. And if you don't know how I made this, I will link the video for you in the description box so that you can make your own as well. But if you don't want to, you can also find the link to my grungy print, print, prints as well as the lighter prints with the leaves for you as well. And the reason why I wanted to use this paper rather than the original is because I want to try some kintsugi with this paper and that's not going to work, I don't think, with the watercolor paper because it's too thick. And if you don't know what kintsugi is, <laughs> I did explain it in another video, but if you weren't there for that video, <laughs> I'll tell you the definition again. So kintsugi is the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery or mending the areas of breakage with lacquer mixed with powdered gold, silver or platinum to make those cracks more visible and to honor those instead of just throwing the object away. It's a really beautiful art form and I love the symbolism of it. So now that we've set everything up, let's move it away again. <laughs> I'm going to tear this paper in half. I want this more grungy version. And I'm going to add some glue on this cardstock. This is from a book. I don't know how many GSM, but the feels of it, maybe 200. I wanted something a little more sturdy than the copy paper or photo paper in this case. So I'm going to add some PVA glue. This one is fairly thin. I don't really like it, but I think for this, it's, it should be perfect. If you only have thick PVA glue, you know, like tacky glue or something, you can always thin it down with a little bit of water. I'm going to spread it with a brush. I want an even coating. And then, as you've probably seen me do a few times by now, I'm... Oh, I forgot to wet this. Hang on. <laughs> I'm actually going to wet from the back side. I don't know how well this photo paper does with water. I don't want to ruin my print. So then I'm going to scrunch it up. And then I'm going to add this, making sure it has a lot of smaller wrinkles. I'm so in love with this technique. <laughs> I hope you're not sick of it yet. So you're really just pushing into the middle, trying to get those beautiful creases. And once you're happy with that, you let that dry. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> once this is dry, I want to use a die cut on it. I'm going to use this one, which I got secondhand a long time ago. This is no longer sold, but maybe you could find it on eBay. The number is 660236. There is a similar one, which I will link for you from Amazon below. This is one of those big ones that cuts through fabric as well, which is not necessary, but it's just the one I have. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. 
I really want my butterfly to have this here, oops, this here from a washer on the wing. So that means I'm going to have to cut this a little bit. Yeah, now it should work. Oops. Success, as you can see. Of course, the folds are now flattened. <laughs> I will try to make them come up a little more again. I've never had grungy butterflies, but I love these. <laughs> okay, let's go over the edges with some walnut stain. And in case you're wondering about my weird nail color, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this color. That was a spontaneous decision today when I got them done. So I have gel nails. I get them done approximately every three weeks and then I don't have to worry about them for three weeks. I love it. That is one thing I treat myself to. And I actually went in today <laughs> thinking that I was going to get a French manicure with long nails because my nails were very long actually. Yeah, and then I saw all the color choices <laughs> and I was like, no, no, let's do something different. <laughs> I think I thought that the color would make me look cool. <laughs> Which already shows you that I'm not cool because if I was cool, I wouldn't have thought that I need nails to make me look cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, not, not quite what I had imagined. Like, I don't think they make me look cool. I don't think there's anything that make, can make me look cool. <laughs> but it's okay. It's something different. I took a risk. And I'm gonna live with them for three weeks. Okay, now, uh, of course, I'm going to add my Inca Gold. Again, this is a fla flask, a fast drying metal gloss paint. You can use gilding wax, you can use acrylic paint, you can use watercolor, whatever you want. I'm using this because, as the name says, it's fast drying, which is perfect for when you're making a video. How beautiful is that? I don't know if you're into this, but <laughs> as you can tell, I definitely am. Let's see how long this phase lasts. <laughs> Going from one obsession to the next, it's fun. And it's nice to document these obsessions in a journal because years from now, I can go back and say, oh yeah, that was from my <laughs> Kintsugi phase with the gold. I just love this. Okay, let's do that here. Here as well. I forgot who it was that wrote that in the comments of that video where I first talked about Kintsugi. Um, but one of you wrote that you have a jar, a really old jar, I think, that has been mended with tar, black tar. That must look so cool. I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Stop, Popper, stop. Gorgeous. Going back to the journal, I think these look absolutely beautiful, but the background is still kind of plain, isn't it? So let's add some gesso. I have this funny silicone brush. There's no particular reason why I'm using it. I just want to try using different materials, I guess, or different tools, I should say because each tool will give me a different effect. We could add some scribbling. I really like this effect when you go really close to the gesso with your heat gun, you get these bubbles. I love that extra texture. And while I was just looking for my water soluble wax pastels, my gaze happened to fall upon this fine art watercolor. I've never used these. I got these from a former art teacher in the school where I used to work and I've never used them and I, this is such a beautiful color. I love this color. So of course we need to try that. Mm. 
It's seen better days, I think. <laughs> of course, we're going to add some water. Then I want to try adding some olive brown. Let's help it a little bit. Maybe some ochre as well. I want to get it a little bit darker, so I have this dried up coffee. So I'm just going to reactivate that with some water. Let's see if we can just make some drops. This is very intensive now. Looks like syrup. This has dried almost completely. It's still too light for my taste. So I'm going to add some walnut stain by just rubbing, rubbing over it and then I guess I will spritz it again because, yeah, because I don't like the marks that it's making. Once this is all dry, I want to add my crackling stamp, but this time I don't want to do it in black. This time I'm actually going to try it with my metal gloss paint. Hopefully I won't ruin my stamp. I think I have to work fast so that I can wash it off my stamp again. You'll see if this is a good idea or not. <laughs> Don't know how well this is going to stamp. Let's just try it. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Maybe it's drying too fast. Yep, like not at all at all. <laughs> Okay, it did come off my stamp, so that's cool. So plan B, let's try it with the walnut stain. I think the black would just be too harsh. So let's do this. How will these look now? Yes, I like it. Let's add some feelers with some thread from the sewing machine. This is a beautiful brown that I think will go well here. While I was waiting for this to dry, I was looking up the symbolism of butterflies and it says that they represent spiritual rebirth, transformation, change, hope and life. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe that's why we all love butterflies. Okay, I'm just gonna add some glue here way too much and some people believe that butterflies are winged messengers from the spirit world to the physical world and they send signals and validations to help guide us through life that's very beautiful as well since i'm trying to make this journal even more chunky i want to attach these more like 3d <laughs> So I'll add some foam on the back here, just in the middle. And it also has beautiful meanings in different religions. For example, many cultures associate the butterfly with our souls. The Christian religion sees the butterfly as a symbol for resurrection. And around the world, people view the butterfly as representing endurance, change, hope and life. This is not sticking. It's sticking to my fingers, but not to the butterfly. <laughs> okay, I got that situation fixed. <laughs> now let's glue these on. And then I think I need to add one of those words, what they symbolize. So either endurance, change, hope, or life. Either endurance or hope. Let's do hope because it's shorter. <laughs> going to use my clickable alphabet stamps. I have these linked for you below as well. So let's just spell the word hope. I'm stamping it on this scrap of coffee dyed paper and I'm going to use again my walnut stain.
Before I add that, we obviously need some wax splatters. And I'm going to add the hope with some foam stickers as well. A really cool aspect of using foam stickers is how they create shadows. Do you see that where the wings are, for example? I don't have to do my own shading because it's already there. <laughs> that was my quick little page for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Go play in your journal. <laughs> Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.